Good morning, it's Saturday morning, 28th of March, and we've survived four days of lockdown due to Corona COVID-19 virus. So well done, you're doing well. We're all doing well. We've got to encourage one another to keep going. There are clearly major difficulties for us uh, with regard to lockdown. Some of us are suffering with the illness and some of us know other people who are. Uh, there's obviously worries as well about money and employment and social issues um, and for many of us life is difficult and it's not going to get any easier for a little while so my prayers are with everybody and with all of us at this time you may be glad to know that the psalm for today is psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i encourage you to read it slowly read it through and hear what God is saying to you through that this morning as we consider God is our good shepherd. Many of us in our lives may have already been through the valley of the shadow of death uh, and for others maybe it's still to come but we may know that because of we have faith in Jesus, faith in God our good shepherd, that he will never let us down, that there is something more and something bigger for all of us and he will be there through it all. The Hebrews passage this morning is Hebrews chapter 11, and I love Hebrews chapter 11. It's all about faith, faith in God. And we can take encouragement from this message from uh, the writer of Hebrews, who is read, writing to Jews who have always had, um, whose, whose, whose faith has depended on the covenant, the law, and the religious practices and the sacrifices that they've had. They've become Christians now, they believe in Jesus, and so the writer is trying to encourage them that they don't need any of those things anymore. All they need is faith in Jesus, and that's what Hebrews 1 to 10 has been all about. So we come to chapter 11, and it's about faith. He starts by saying, faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. I've also heard one person extending this to hope is the music of tomorrow and faith is to dance to that music today. I love that. Hope is the music of tomorrow and faith is to dance to that music today. This is where those of us who have faith are different from those who don't have faith. They can have hope, but what's it based in? Faith means we can stand firm on it and know that we can dance to that music today. So we start here with uh, examples. So the writer's saying, in fact, this faith has always been like this, even before Abraham had the covenant from God. You've just got to look at creation all around you. And as I show you a little bit of my garden, uh, we can see plants. We can see plants growing. Everywhere is evidence of God's creation. God is the creator and, and we have faith in that creator. Then he starts to talk about the people in the Bible. Cain and Abel, they brought their sacrifices to God. But it wasn't the sacrifices that God looked at, it was their heart. And then there was Enoch, a bit of a mysterious one. He walked with God and appears not to have died. He says, without faith it is impossible to please God. And Enoch was found to have faith. Now this word faith in English, it sounds a bit static because it's a noun, but actually it's very active faith. Now in English we can't say I faith, uh, it doesn't work, um, but we can say I believe, I believe, and it's the same word and that makes it sound a bit more active. And then there's one who is faithing, who, is who um, shows faith, and that word for us is faithful. So we believe in a God who is faithful. And that's all the same word, faith. So that moves us nicely on to Noah, who was definitely somebody who acted out his faith. He built the ark. And then on to Abraham, who had faith in what God was telling him to do. He was told to up sticks and move on, start a journey, living in tents, because he believed in the place where God was leading him to and not only into that place, but also into the place that, go, that was far in, into the future. 
he and Sarah became uh, the fathers of a dynasty and their descendants would be as numerous as the, sta the sand on the seashore. But Abraham and all these others did not see what it was that God had promised. There was something far into the future that they never saw. They never saw Jesus and they never saw that land that God was promising. And God still promises that place to us. We are all exiles and foreigners in this land that we live in at the moment. Our life is transitory and God promises us far more. Abraham believed in a better country, a heavenly one. And God promises this for us too. A city whose architect and builder is God. He's prepared that city for us. This gives us perspective on our own lives how transitory they are, and yet how sure our hope can be in God forever. We can live with him if we have faith now. So as we walk through difficult times, praying for those who suffer, helping those who are vulnerable, cheering those who have no hope, let's remember we walk with a God who is faithful. He will never let us down. We have hope in God, in Jesus, and in the promise of a future forever with him. Faith is confidence in what we hope, sure, hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hope is the music of tomorrow. Faith is to dance to that music today. So let's pray. Father God, we pray that you would help us to have faith. Faith for today and trust in you for tomorrow. Thank you for that eternal hope that we have in Jesus and in you. Help us to be bringers of that hope to other people. And may we dance to the music of faith today. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow from 8 o'clock at Virtual Church on the website. I hope you have a good weekend.